made the winning play, the ball was going to be in his hands. <laughs> and so, um, you know, and I, you know, for a guy like me who always wants the ball in my hands, you know, at the end of a game and have the confidence to do that too. And even other, uh, and it could be one or multiple guys on the team, but for pretty much everyone to agree that this one guy in particular, Chris Warren, is the go-to guy at the end says a lot about his game. You know, when you can get other players respect to, you know what, yeah, we'll let you take the shot with 10 seconds left. You know, I think that, you know, and he's really good with the ball in his hands, you know, one-on-one -on -one yeah. style. Does yeah. everyone just kind of get out of his way and let him do what he does? Um, <laughs> you know, and so that's why it's going to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> going to be tough, for sure. And, you know, I told him, when I talked to him, I said, you know, Dude, dude, you got to get Marshall to foul you. He's a great free throw shooter, but I mean, you shot like 92% on you. Yeah. Also, That's crazy. Dude, I mean, just. I don't, get, I don't know if you get to go to the line or not, but. Yeah. Well, see, you know, I got a real analytical with, with, with these brackets. You know, when you're coming down play, you know, you're playing certain people. I'm like, what does this come down to? Is it, you know, what are the rules of the one on one game? Do you only get a dribble? Do you get two dribbles? Can you play the miss? Like, do you have to check it up every time? Yeah. You, yeah. You know, Certain th if I have if for me personally, if I have to check it up every time I'm at a disadvantage, but if I can get the guy to miss and I can run after the ball and then run back to the three point line and start without having to check, then I, I have the advantage because you know I just go forever. So you know, there's we got to figure out the, the you know the 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 rules and regulations of the one on one. But you know, I think also too, there's some guys here that we can still play each other. You know, oh, yeah. The, I want to do this for real. When the coronavirus is over, with, you dudes are coming back to Oxford. We're gonna get it on. Yeah, I have a nice fundraiser, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. The, there was a uh, when the, there was Chris Warren versus Bree and Tyree, and I was like, I would pay money. Money, I would pay <laughs> one on one game. Like, yeah. come on. <laughs> yeah, that would be incredible. And then Chris got by uh, a Tyree, and Chris was shocked. He was like, Wow, I'm big. Yeah, I mean, shoot, he. You got Chris, some of the big guys trash talking to each other over the, the you know, over the end. We need to do that. We need to do a fundraiser. Absolutely. That'd yeah, be it was fun. fun. For sure. I mean, you know, I was a little upset at my second round matchup against my guy Jarvis Summers oh yeah you know, I, I cracked the joke I was like you know we we play together not against each other so us two need to team up against Johnny Newman in the yeah. next yeah. round yeah because uh you know he he, he needs a two-on-one -on -one to get beat <laughs> but uh you know it was and with Jarvis me and Jarvis played a lot of one-on-one -on -one in, in our days Did you really? so oh, yeah wow. I mean there was a lot of that. He he got me a lot of times. I know I know for facts. <laughs> so you know, Marshall, you had you loved interact. You played the game. You loved the game. You could see it in your body language. You loved the, the game. But you had a lot of interaction with fans. You had interaction with our students. You had interaction with the other guys' students. And uh it, it was fun. It kind of built your legend to a certain uh degree. But uh, it, as you continue to coach, <laughs> you know, uh, it, it's nice that players, though, you know, can have a little showmanship, I would think. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, play with the edge. Play, you know, show some emotion. You know, this year on my team, we didn't have that a lot of times. And, you know, I, I it would drive me nuts when guys make a big play and everyone just kind of, like, claps, you know, and just, <laughs> like, and I'm like, where's the, where's the chest bumping and stuff, you know? Like, get the energy up. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, so that, I mean, that's, that, that's just kind of how it was this year, but yeah, I, I definitely, and the guy I work for is also very high energy, pretty crazy, uh, oh, cool. you know, get up in you very, very kind of intimidating when he, when he's yelling, <laughs> even for yeah. me, um, but uh, yeah, just guys that play with energy, I think, you know, when you have a, now that I'm a coach and you kind of – some of the things come come back full circle. Like, you want the, the guy that works hard over the guy that's talented. Maybe not all the time, but I definitely want a guy that plays hard and, or has energy all the time because it's just more consistent. Yeah. And, you know, you're really looking for consistency um, in, the, in this sport. And uh, I think for me, what, that's one of my things that I look at is, you know, what is their energy level? Because then you can really work with somebody if they if they if the passion's there, the energy's there, then they're going to get better. Um, you know, it's just it's just a matter of kind of finding it, find the guys that you know don't have you know at our level we got guys that they don't want to come here right now in AIA. It's like you know right. I understand all that, but some like you know the after going through it for a year, there's some good players. <laughs> right, no doubt. <laughs> you know? So no uh, doubt. you know, there's good, there's good basketball everywhere. 
Um, but, yeah, I, de- I definitely like to see a player show a little emotion and play with that chip on their shoulder. You know, one of the coolest things you did, of course, I know you like to gator chomp the gators, and we had the deal at Auburn where you almost got me killed, by the way, uh, <laughs> all those dudes behind me. But, you know, when we got beat at Florida, uh, it, and they were getting after you, and you were having fun back and forth with them, and you were scoring, having a good time, and then after the game you went toward them and gave them a gator chop and kind of a thumbs up. I thought that was really cool that you, you know, that you acknowledged that their student section was really good. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I always enjoyed it. I mean, some people took it over the line when you started involving, like, family members and stuff like that. Like, well, that's just stupid. Yeah. But, you know, I, they were very creative on the signs they had and the stuff they said. A lot of people just said stuff that wasn't even really funny. I was yeah. like, come on, man, you had, you had that long to come up with a joke, and that was your joke? <laughs> There's a whole world of jokes you could come up with. <laughs> and, you know, but Florida was very creative with it. And, you know, I actually have a, a liking for Florida. We, it helps that we beat them in the SEC championship. But, yeah, it uh, does. You know, the, yeah. the following year, um, they made the, when they were in the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight, uh, they played in Memphis, and I went up there and I supported them. I was wearing a Florida shirt. I was gator shopping the whole time. Yeah. It, I, wound, I wound up in a, like, Florida alum, uh, like, party and just for Florida alum, but they, I was able to come as well. <laughs> oh, I think wow. the, the funniest part was that people were just kind of confused. They are like, man, you're a really cool guy. And I was like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to hate you anymore, right? <laughs> I'm just very competitive when it comes to yeah. when it comes to basketball in, in game. Um, yeah. But yeah, so you know, and that's a, another funny thing that I've kind of noticed is that being down in Tallahassee and recruiting and stuff, there's been a, a tons of people that recognize me, and they're like, you know, start going, well, what the heck are you doing here? All this, all that, and I forget that. You know, Florida is a really big university with a really big following. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, that spreads all through the state or even, like, the uh, the southeast region, really. Yeah. Um, and so that's pretty cool that, you know, the that stuff kind of – people still remember that. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and it's definitely helping me with recruiting a lot, especially with coaches and, and parents. Um, you know, one of the first guy we got to sign, his dad was like – I finally figured out who you are. <laughs> it took him, he was at the game. We were there. We took him out to eat afterwards. You know, we we're talking. So you're that Marshall Henderson. Yeah, he was like, dude, we're, yeah, we're coming. <laughs> we are like, like him and the whole family are coming to the school here. So that we got great. that kid, we got that kid done, um, you know, a little point guard. So, you know, it, it, it definitely is helping and it's nice. And, 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 and I'm still young enough too to really relate with players on, on yeah. Being yeah. a player instead of not a coach, you know, I'm not old by any means, but like, you know, I still consider myself a player sometimes. So, you know, when the coaching a lot of times, you know, the only times I really get on my players are when they don't play hard or if they, right. you know, don't show up. Like, just show up every day and go hard every day and everything else will figure it out. Like, you're, the dumb stuff, will you'll, you'll be able to overcome that and all that. Um, <laughs> so... And that's pretty much how where I'm at right now. <laughs> well, dude, hey, it is a, an honor to get to talk to you again. Miss you, man. I hope uh, I hope you get to Ole Miss here pretty soon. Somewhere yeah, down the road. Got to get you back baseball, home. Our baseball team was off to an incredible start. Oh, I know. And, it. you know, I was ready to come there because, I mean, our spring's pretty pretty, pretty lax. Not, not a lot going on. And plus baseball weekends. I think it was – who was it? Maybe it was Arkansas. I had a weekend planned out. Um, and – I wanted to come up there and obviously get back into Oxford and all that good stuff and see, go see some good baseball teams. Cause after that first weekend against Louisville, I was like, all right, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Transition is perfect. My season's over, but Gold Miss baseball is going hard. So uh, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. I hate it got cut short, but boy, yeah, that, it was obvious that they were going to be really, really good. Hey, listen, yeah. mark down some football games. Come check us in football. Oh, yeah, definitely. My birthday, uh, we play Auburn at home next year. September. Oh, yeah. We'll play, the, we'll, we'll play the incident on the video board for you. How about that? Oh, yes. <laughs> and it's pointing at you and all that stuff. Give, give, give us a little motivation. <laughs> hey, Marshall, thanks so much, dude. And, hey, good luck in this one-on-one Final Four. Thank you. If, if, I can get, if I can get it to where I can just play the miss off the rim, I'm going to get him to miss a couple times. I'm going to get him in a running match. And, uh, Got gotcha. you. We'll, We'll see where the chips fall. <laughs> yeah, one of y'all's going to have to be cold. I mean, it's going to be a three-point war, I promise yeah. you. <laughs> it definitely will be. <laughs> All right, Marshall. Thanks, man. All right. Thanks, David.